on this bumpy beer tasting, I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. So on this uh, Christmas day, I'm going to be having the Imperial Stout from Founders Brewing Company. They're out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Imperial Stout comes in at 10.5% ABV, 75 IBUs. Uh, it's about one and a half months old time of this tasting. In the back it says, uh, brewed with an abundance of malts, the stout is smooth as silk, yet complex and rich in body. Best enjoyed at cellar temperature to allow the notes of chocolate, dark fruit, and caramel to soar. Put another log on the fire. Sit back and enjoy the moment with this full-bodied and utterly delicious cold weather companion. All right, let's uh, go ahead and crack into this. Give it a pour. Price point on this one's not too bad. It was I think twelve ninety nine for the four pack, so it's half the price of like the KBS or the CBS. It's not barrel aged, but still, as you can see, a very thick, sharp, with you looking imperial stout. So with that pour, I do have a very large head very small, compact, chocolate colored head. Uh, the body color itself, I get some red hues down at the bottom here, so it is a very black stout. Let's uh, get some aromas off this while I wait for this head to go down. Yeah, you get the, the chocolate notes in there. They are the, the darker chocolate. A little bit of like a mild chocolate, some fruit notes coming up, some uh, kind of uh, the, the plum dates. A little bit of raisin type dark fruit notes. Little bit of a roasty note in there. Um, try to go ahead in and uh, get the first swig out of this. I'm probably gonna come up with a uh, face full of foam. Uh, so cheers. Yeah, it's got a very silky, creamy mouthfeel, full body, carbonation. It's kind of going into that medium realm. Plenty of roast, roasted malt notes. Nice uh, mild chocolate to uh, going into that dark, almost baker's chocolate bitterness as uh, the shine there at the end. Uh, it, it tastes like the uh, bitterness from like a, like a baker's chocolate. So not not too bad. Little bit of, uh, of like a dark fruit flavor in there. It's uh, doesn't really shine through all the all the chocolate that's coming through in this one. Though. Yeah, the bitterness definitely does uh, kick in there and linger on. But yeah, very very tasty uh, imperial stout. For a uh, non-barrel aged stout, 
course, the Mini Barrel Age. Almost anything <laughs> it tends to make them better. But uh, for something that's not barrel aged, it's a, a very good, very good Imperial Stout. And uh, yeah, I, I would definitely recommend this to any uh, stout lover out there. Uh, the price point, like I said, is not bad for it. Uh, and shouldn't fly off the shelves, I don't think. Like, uh, sometimes you have issues finding, well, not so much as CBS and KBS. And, but, uh, like, when Goose Island put out there, their stuff, that stuff, it, uh, it does not stay on the shelf. So, at least this is something you can pretty much find. Uh, any time that you go in, as long as it's you know, within the, the time that they're distributing it. So, I want to say uh, cheers to everybody, and like I said, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, and catch you next time. Thank you for watching.